Sophie. Yeah. Could you kick a soccer ball over that pyramid? Which one? This one? This one, yeah. Yes. Oh, oh, no question. What about that one? The tall, pointy one. Pointy one. It doesn't look too big from here, but probably when you're stood right, yeah. right at the base of it. Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna say Mumkin to that one. Okay. Mumkin to right. Mumkin to Who's that coming <laughs> straight at me? Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, time to move on to our next segment. Um, it's a good one. It's one of my personal favorites. Ask a Sudanese. Ask a Sudanese. Where today we're going to be having Mansoor show us the versatility of a Sudanese headscarf. And he's going to tie it a bunch of different ways for us. A beautiful, locally made, locally sourced Sudanese headscarf. So let's take a look. Tafal el kalfia, mara wahed, wa mara tani, wa mara thalath. Shukran. Mansoor, fashion correspondent mm -hmm. for Mumkin tonight. Mia, Mia. Wabadin tashil kula libas. Tanabe nusuf tariga. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, sheh. Oh, I like that one, yeah. Uh-huh. 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 Uh-huh.
yeah. but it's, but it's yeah. fun. You know, everyone yeah. wants to talk to you. You get to talk to everyone. Right. Do you feel like research is being done to an international standard currently? I, I do think I am satisfied. That's wonderful. I'm so happy to hear that. Uh, so back to that settlement. Uh, did you did you find anything? Well, we did find a settlement. Okay. We found we found a, yeah? a the wall of a town. Wall of a town. Yeah. Uh, kind of town? And we found we found houses next to the town. Yeah. But it was. Uh, not the period we were interested in researching. Mm, it was mm, more than a thousand mm. years later than we thought it would be. Mm. Ah, so that was when that a, happens. That was a surprise. Yeah, malish. Yeah. Uh, now we'd like to take just a few seconds to acknowledge our sponsors here, Mumkin Tonight. We're very thankful to uh, be supported by Walid's here at the beautiful El Kuru, where you can service all of your yogurt needs. Uh, thank you, Walid. Tonight. All right, welcome back to Mumkin Tonight. Uh, and now let's move on to our one of our favorite segments, Ask a Hawaja. Ask, Ask a Hawaja. Hawaja. Segment today. Yeah, Hawaja, uh, in case anybody is not familiar, is a, is a word that people in Sudan use a lot. It's very popular, basically means foreigner. <laughs> All right, so moving on to our segment, Ask a Hawaja. Ask yeah, a Hawaja. We have a special question from Mahmoud from Meraway. Uh, Mahmoud would like to know why Hawaja sleep almost naked. First of all, I'm curious to know how Mahmoud from Meraway knows that. That's my first question for Mahmoud Ooh, from Meraway. I don't even know how Hawajas sleep. You know, just because people are naked mm -hmm. doesn't mean it's sexy time, okay? It's, they're two different things. So, and that's the same thing with Hawajas sleeping without their clothes. Just because you're naked doesn't mean it's sexy time, if that's what Mahmoud from Meraway wants to know. Okay. Well, I think we got our answer there. Next question, also from Mahmoud from Meraway. He would like to know if Hawajas really think that only using paper in the bathroom is enough. Well, I think Hawajas do think that's enough. Um, and I think Hawajas, probably many Hawajas, have a question for Sudanese. Ask a Sudani. How do you drip dry? Mm. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not quite ready to yield the floor. <laughs> I know Mahmoud from Meroe, and he can only ask me these questions because we're good friends. And we've, been, we've known each other for 10 years. So take that, Mahmoud from Meraway. Okay, will you shake his hand? Okay, fine. Thanks. Thanks, Jeff. Mumkin tonight. It's Mumkin tonight. Good night. 